Okay, do you know how hard it was to stay off Facebook and Twitter today? All day. Going on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in to CB Insider. I can finally watch the new, I guess, teaser trailer special look for Rise of Skywalker. Seriously, I've avoided Facebook and I've avoided Twitter because I saw one post and it was like, the new... A uh, special look of the rise of Skywalker and I was like nope saving that for later because I have to work today I'm being like completely lazy. I'm laying on the couch and I hurt my knee y'all. I don't know how but It hurts like hell. Okay enough chit chat. Let's let's react to this thing What? What did I just watch? Like the majority of the trailer was just, you know, moments from the other movies, which which I get, but I think Star Wars relies heavily on nostalgia. And I think they, and I really think that they should just move on. Like, like move on, I I don't know. I mean, I think that's that was like their tactic was just to bring back characters that they love so much, but like, I mean, this is a saga. This is like an epic saga. So stuff needs to go on. People need to die. People need to move forward. And I just, I, I kind of wish that like, like uh, The Force Awakens was like the return of all three and then they were done. Because I'm sorry, but The Last Jedi was, in my opinion, just, it was awful. It was so bad. So now poor JJ Ab Abrams has to pick up the pieces yet again and try to bring back the people that ran away from Star Wars after The Last Jedi. I will say J.J. Abrams, he has a beautiful vision. Like, God, when those, um, when those fighters, uh, came out of light speed and just that, that, like, gray background of just, like, the sky, uh, it was just, it was beautiful. And then the, and then the Star Destroyers, like in the in the lightning storm holy crap that was beautiful and then i loved 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 kylo walking on i think it was like it was like an ice planet or something then he releases his red lightsaber and then he he puts it in he puts it like on the snow so it like steams up like god damn he must have taken some um entry uh pointers from uh some drag queens because boy definitely knows how to make an entrance and ray becomes it joins the dark side um i mean with with the star wars trailers i know they try to lead lead you um lead you a different path and like try to trick you but 
like, is that like a clone of Rey? Or does like Rey have a twin? Or does she have to join the dark side, you know, to bring balance to the fourth and to like finish her training to become a Jedi? Like, there's so many questions that I want answered, but no, we gotta wait till December 20th. Really, really hoping to see a lot of Poe Dameron because he's my favorite character of the new Star Wars, you know, from seven and eight. And Poe is just handsome. And I hope that he is the LGBT uh, character. A lot of people think it's gonna be uh, Rose, which I mean, I get, but I'm really, really hoping it's Poe. And I'm very, very excited for uh, this film. Finally, it's going to wrap up the Skywalker story. I just think it's gone on way too long and time to move on uh, with new stories of Star Wars. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I I trust J.J. Abrams. I mean, the guy is visually just stunning. What he's doing with these movies is just stunning. I liked how The Last Jedi looked, but, but The Force Awakens was just beautiful. And then this one just like couple knobs higher which it's just it just it looks it looks beautiful well, that's my reaction to the special look of the rise of skywalker i hope you guys enjoyed it if you like this video please give it that thumbs up and if you want more content please subscribe down below all right y'all it's time to go to bed until next time guys stay spooky